I have returned to once more haunt these fiery halls, for this is the little key thing that I missed. Remember, I was here, I was like, that was extremely anticlimactic, what the hell am I supposed to, to be here for? Well, I missed this entire little thing completely, which is the entire point of being here, which is sticking your hand inside the damn furnace altar and getting something out of it. Which is the ancient meteoric or great sword. That is a lot of words and uh, the greatest thing that you could, could have possibly asked for, which is a level 10 upgrade thing. But I definitely want to see what the hell this is. It regards arcane. Neat, neat. One of the treasures of the ruined forges. Great sword of ancient meteoric ore. Is it, is, I think it's meteoric ore. Ending in a sharp point fashion from an excavated shard of an arrowhead that once was a part of an old gold god's arsenal. A cap capable piercing weapon that excels the thrusting attacks. Just like my walk. Let me get out of here. We're done with this housekeeping chore. And now it seems to me, correct me if I'm wrong, it seems to me that if you hit the map button and you take a short look at everything that I've done, I believe that it's all clear, with the exception of maybe being able to reach down this area. I don't know if I can. I'm going to quickly warp over here and take a look, see if there's a way down. I am very curious to see if you can reach there or you just reach that area from a completely different area. For, for just by glancing right now, it's like, yeah, there's no way you'd reach that spot without having some kind of fancy way down. There's no way I can possibly get there from this uh, bri these bridges and all that stuff. There's no way. There's no freaking way. There is a possibility over there, maybe. There is a... Uh, nah, there's no way. I, I bet that you come down maybe from somewhere around here. It's really hard to tell. Like, from where can you possibly go all the way down there? Like, it seems like here may be possible, but no, no, there's no way. There's a way down, right? Let me, let me just check. I'll report my findings. Nah, it really might as well be in a different planet. It's so far that it doesn't even load the proper textures of the border of the lake. If you see all the, the <laughs> quadrangular border of the lake. Some kind of weird-ass bird monster down there. I don't know if I ever want to encounter that. But it seems to me a, <clears throat> a safe bet to say you're not going to reach those spots from here. So let's go instead. Assault these shadow keep from the front door. We're going to probably Yeah, I guess all the way back to, to Lita and we're going to go in the direct way forward. Is this really the only use for the furnace visage? I doubt that, right? I'm going to craft one because maybe it just outright kills the furnace golems and then I'll just pile on the, the hefty fire pots. And we'll uh, carry on forward, see what else we can do. In fact, we're going to remove that from our pile of items. Because I see yet another Furnace Golem waiting to be obliterated. Looking forward to it. Let's charge ahead at the front gate. Zero subtlety. I am a battering ram riding this horse. I will humiliate each and every one of you. What? What, you think I even care about you? what you you can do to me? I'm just going to ride right past you. Loot your camp and leave you in the dust. I am the roadrunner. Oh boy. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez going through this area. And in fact, this fire golem is actually going to serve my purposes. Because it's going to roast my enemies. I had removed my fire drake amulet. Let me put it right back on. Maybe I just need to walk right by all these idiots and watch them get incinerated as I attract the flames upon their heads. Kind of rude for this fire golem, though, to be <laughs> roasting the crap out of uh, his own army. Pretty sure they all fight for the same team, right? The fire golems and, and these idiots. Mesmer left. Hear that skibbity tree fra uh, fragment. Mesmer left all these people to subjugate the population. Alright, bud. 
Let me just do a bunch of attacks at your leg. Surely. Oh, are you gonna start stomping? Oh no, you're just gonna start grabbing. I may be able to survive it because of my part Drake amulet. Maybe not. <laughs> I was a little distracted by all the excitement going on. All the knights trying to eat my ass. There was, uh, I couldn't keep track of all the threats. It's pretty obnoxious though to get all the way back here after having aggroed everybody. So what I think I'm going to do is run past and see if there's another side of grace right after this idiot. This cannot be bothered. I would like my room back though. There you go. There you go. Please do not incinerate me or my horse. Very rude. Oh yeah, drawstring mesmer fire grease. That's exactly what I was rooting for. I don't know who you are, I don't know who you used to be, but I now have your most prized cookbook. I'm just quickly <laughs> run into your tent and keep stealing all your junk. I'm just gonna bypass you fools. You have no interest in engaging in combat. The Shadow Keep lays agape. I can just go straight in there, huh? Is that what I can do? So freaking dark. Bruh. Oh, we got another elevator situation. Uh, please, history buffs up there. All of you castle obsessed weirdos. Does a castle exist in all of history where it's a giant gate and then an elevator? Uh, this is a sincere question. I may be ignorant in saying this seems schizophrenic to me. <laughs> this castle design of a door and an elevator right after is the second or maybe third castle in Elden Ring that does that. But I mean, from a defensive perspective, it can't be beat, right? If you have a giant gate and then you make it so that only an elevator can get you to the rest of the castle. Seems uh, pretty impregnable to me. Golden Hippopotamus. I have walked into a freaking boss fight without realizing it. All right, <laughs> let's do it. I am sure I, will, I am not about to suffer a giant defeat at the hands of a beastly hippopotamus like I probably would if I encounter a hippopotamus in real life. Probably just regular hippopotamus would be a boss fight in, a, in a the ring. They are just that aggressive and ready to end your life. Let me do one of these. Stab you right in the forehead. I mean, in the in the belly. Oh, come on, come on. It's right there, you piece of garbage. Uh, it has grown quills. Because you see, a beastly hypo hippo rhinoceros is not is not tough enough you also need to make it into a hedgehog <laughs> it's just not enough dangers packed into one animal oh baby well <laughs> it rolls straight under the trajectory of its thorn quills and i really should now be uh completely obliterated meal between his teeth Let me just, uh, just drink some more of this juice. Oh, should be using more of these. Oh, baby. Ow. Probably can jump through that pretty easily. Woo! <laughs> what is this rolling? And also, what is... Uh, this thing that I have going right now where I'm not doing this final attack and killing it. Feels like uh, this one. I was over skibbity. Over skibbity for the golden hippopotamus. Should have given me more trouble if I weren't so damn skibbity. But thanks to all this pile of fragments, I am honestly flabbergasted. Like as I continue experiencing Elden Ring, uh, the the DLC, you know, as soon as I'm done with this and I absolutely trounce it, 
I'm gonna make a video calling all of you filthy casuals. I'm going to go and make the most rage baiting video on Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree, saying the DLC is not difficult, you're just stupid. <laughs> it's like this has not been a very difficult experience. It hasn't been easy. I've been completely destroyed a couple times. Not being abandoned, Miss Mary's the son of Queen Mary. I hear Grace would never abandon her own flesh and blood. Psh, get real, buddy. Get real. That bitch ain't loyal. All right, let me uh, use these runes to get myself some levels. It's like, did ninety percent of the player base just not click on things or read anything and did not realize that hey, maybe if you use these these fragments that literally say you're going to take less damage and do more damage. Maybe if you use these items that they have scattered all over the place, you're not going to struggle so much and get one shot at every occasion. Either that or it just, the difficulty ramps up catastrophically later on. Either way, I laugh at all those goddamn casuals complaining. Get real. Oh, well done. <laughs> I mean, this son of a bitch would have actually done a number on me if I had not been stopping to to buff myself. Beautiful uh, little courtyard over there. I shall go in there once I get this wonderful six smithing stones. He's so angry. He's so angry. He's just roaring. I'm consistently impressed with the damage that this puts out. The heavy backhanded swords plus the lightning infusion. Like, it's absolutely creaming these guys, making them into cum and shooting them into the sun. It is so friggin' powerful. Very impressive shooting. Very impressive shooting, buddy. Let me just, uh,. Super dodge you. Absolutely humiliate you. <laughs> Loving every minute of it. I think this buff will still last to kill these, this fella. The thing about these guys, they're so trivial to fight once you realize you can... You can just step right behind them and stab the shit out of them. Especially when you provoke one of these. They actually miss a lot of those hits, so you can step behind them at your leisure and super backstab them. Golden Vow. What the? Oh, it's like a portable Golden Vow. Well, I can cast this any time, so I can just use it. Wow. That's weird. <laughs> it seems kind of silly to include that as just a, a basically a miracle in a jar. This is what I came from. There was a little courtyard that I wanted to jump into, but this may lead to the same spot. No? Let's go over here. Continue electrifying this armament. Yeah, we do need to go in there. Seems like a pretty central location that we can go back to. Oh, this is in the loading screen. I've seen that before. Holy proof pickle liver. Or is it? Like this, yeah, this boat shaped things. With the fire, perhaps uh, funeral pyres for uh, truly impressive heroes of the of the war. What? What in the? Freaking militia! At least they uh, they seem to be wielding different weapons. It's not the same exact freaking enemies. At least they're from they're much closer to the Dark Souls Three variety. Ominous. Let me go back. I want to go into that little courtyard that the guy was looking over. He was so damn peaceful looking at the tree as it glows and just reaches into his chest and lifts his soul. I can actually just go down there. Might as well. Just jump off the bridge. That's how I do. Bunch of smithing stones. We carry on. This all leads to the same spot that I wanted to be. I'm about to be invaded. It's just a bunch of idiots. 
bunch of pathetic wretches. And just kill them all, praying to the false god. You should all be facing me, kneeling before the incredible butthole. But no. Sinners, all of you. Filthy sinners. Interesting, interesting. A talisman depicting Godfrey. First Elden Lord, receiving the precious sap. Increases poise after using a flask of tears. The Lord accepted the sap stoically, without any sign of wavering. No wonder Lord of the Earth Tree casts a long shadow over the lands. Did pretty, pretty good. It said poise, right? It didn't say defense. So basically, you drink and you have less chances of being interrupted. Seems like a pretty decent uh, talisman to use. Right now I have the Crimson Sea tra Talisman. Ah, we can let go of this Flame Drake, Drake Talisman until we get to... We get back to that freaking golem that I want to kill. Let's just put that on, see how I do. See how I do. This is another Hammer Boy. Let me just very sneakily... Stealth all the way to his anus. Absolutely humiliate him. Oh, amazing. Great moves. Congratulations on being a loser. Got another weight over here. Hello, sir. Just stab you real good. I like your bow. Can I have it? Oh, that's not a bow. That's a freaking <laughs> twin blade. These guys are getting destroyed. Butthole cannot be stopped. Okay. So that's one way up. I believe that I uh, I am missing one way that I did not go into. That's the way I came. That's the way. I was like, I know that I saw an archway that I didn't go into. This seems to just be a little piece of loot. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the entrance. All right. Let's go over to this side. Mm, I see, I see. Poise goes up. Wonder for how long. I don't think it lasts very long. There's that icon up there. I guess we can just keep track, see how long it lasts. Open up the door. Hello? Slaughter everybody. Oh, I was already here. Alright, nice. It loops. I don't need to worry about it. Let me get some more electricity on these swords. And we can carry on. Might as well wait until I'm in the middle of the middle of the area here yeah all right electrify me probably also top me off I think it's only while you drink that's so not worth it <laughs> if it's only while you drink it's so not worth it I mean probably there will be situations where it makes all the difference right you're very fancy I really like it I like your outfit lady slash fella Ladies last fella, give me your outfit right now. I must have it. Fire Knight's Great Sword. The Great Sword, sign me up. I love Great Swords. Unfortunately, cannot use it because it requires 16 dexterity. Uh, we can probably infuse this into something. A long slender blade that undulates like fire, blessed with a flame incantation for the flame imbuement, will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Uh, that sounds pretty fun. Pretty fun. Pretty good good stuff. Really need to memorize, uh, put this golden vow. I can just craft the golden vow thingy, huh? That's pretty cool. The condition serves as a rite that honors the comrades who placed their faith in the distant earth tree and gave their lives to the crusade. Hmm. The thorn attack. All right, let's go back. I am very curious about that sword. I might just put it on pretty soon if nothing else what is it, just plain old greatsword ah. ah. let's see it's just a plain old greatsword huh it's kind of funky though like it doesn't look like the exact same moveset does it what? 
does it do? It's just an upward thrust. If it has that, it's because it's a standard weapon that you can infuse however you want. Would be my guess. Some more electricity here. Is there a way down here or is it just... Oh, yeah. Damn. All right. We'll go down there and slaughter every single one of those individuals. Well, I guess I deserve that. Because I came in here grabbing the damn loot. Getting myself ambushed like an idiot. Here I go again. Going for the loot instead of watching for the enemies. These little fellows piss me off. Smitten stone. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, little sir. Wow. That's a great move. Should be point guard in the NBA. All right. I guess I we got that done. Let's go down the giant ramp. There's also the massive elevator going up. I wonder how big Shadow Keep is. You're very enthusiastic to, to come meet your death. You're far too eager to interact with Butthole. You people have no idea who you're dealing with. Rah! That looks like a very interesting door. Open it up. I think this actually leads to somewhere I've already been. It doesn't open from the other side. I think we just went through a door that said that. No? Yes. That is activated. This is Hippo Land. Clearly don't want to rest there, for I shall respawn everything. And I don't want to kill everything again. So we are going all the way up to go through the elevator. Further fire enchantments. There is no real way to imbue a weapon with fire through magic. You have to use grease. Which is pretty annoying. I wonder if there will be a, an incantation that allows you to do that. Seems like it should be part of the DLC, right? Mesmer's uh, incantation of fireproofing proofing super flames. Pretty sure that's the official name of it. Alright, well, we can rest here. Now I no longer have a concern of going places. And it feels kind of silly to put on the fire weapon in the fire keep with the fire enemies. I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's put some Flame of the Red Mains on it for a massive, just pure fire kind of thing, right? And just make it far art. And uh, this should make it scale. I think this is what it means, not with a grease that you want to put fire on it. It means if you imbue it with fire, it will do an insane amount of fire damage. I'm very much looking forward to see what kind of what kind of numbers we get out of this. Let me uh, get rid of this piece of garbage and get me a little bit more dexterity with Millicent's prosthesis. Get there you go, fire nice flame art sword. I mean the physical damage not very big, but look at the the fire numbers. Pretty fat. That is like almost a thousand. No. 875. 875 is very respectable. Let's use it see how it does. Just for the sake of it. Oh, that is not what I want. What I want is... Oh, can you not do... Seems like the fire... Yeah, the Ash of War that I want. You really... You cannot put it here. The one that turns your... Your... Sword into fire. So let's put this one, the skewer, because I haven't used it. Why not? And just for the sake of it, let's put on the golden vow. What kind of damage does this do when I when I two-hand it? Equipment. No, that is not what I meant to do. Sixteen eleven. <laughs> Sixteen eleven. With a golden vow and two hand in this thing. Yeah, yeah, that's very, very respectable. Very nice. <laughs> Let's roll with it for a little while. Uh, I'm looking forward to crushing the opposition. See, I mean, it is a strength faith weapon. Or rather, quality faith weapon. Um, but mostly faith. So you can absolutely set the world ablaze with this thing I see and you have fire so do I get wrecked son another elevator huh we'll revisit this elevator gotta make sure that I have slaughtered each one of these filthy archivists 
These damn bookkeepers telling me always to be quiet. It's walking around with their pencil skirts and their judgmental pen. Shushing me. Sick of it. Which one of you gets the sword? You have shiny eyeballs? Looks like you did. Hello, sir. You seem to be deep in meditation. Let me harsh your mellow real quick. All right. This is a... Uh, very enjoyable. Slurring completely defenseless uh, minions that have no interest whatsoever in disturbing me. They are just doing their business, just maybe researching the newest delay in the Song of Ice and Fire. Maybe they are just trying to figure out why Patrick Rothfuss hasn't published another book yet. And here I come with my giant sword setting their library ablaze. FTP spawn. How <laughs> wonderful. Some body up from software. Oh, it's the, the old fella. Somebody up from software I was like, let's put this corpse here. It's, it's loot. And uh, let's make it so that it has a hefty beast bone to pick up. Because this is actually the pet from this fellow. And he was holding it. Actually, he was a thief trying to steal this uh, hallowed skeleton replica of an ancient dinosaur. But he got stopped by the main librarian. Righteous tarnished. It's been some time. Uh, not that long. After unburdening two episodes? my soul to you, I had hoped to make a fresh start, but there was one thought I could not dislodge from my mind. So... I could actually kill you. Here I am. Quite unable to move on. After Lord Moke's slaying at his dynastic palace... Ah, nothing to do with that. You can't prove it. ...been absconded with and taken straight to kind Mikola. Surely you recall that I once served Lord Moog as a pure... Sorry to tell you, buddy, but his body just evaporated in into regard, swirly mists. In sight of my vows, I'd do anything to make amends in whatever meager way I can. You can make amends to me by stop being talking and giving me something good. The implications are rather unnerving. What could they possibly have in mind for Lord Moke's the implication? Okay, okay, okay. You're talking too much, and I don't appreciate you. And you had nothing interesting to give me. I am full of resentment. You're lucky I don't run you through with one swipe of my sword. Oh, I'm fat wrong. I do have the fattest of all outfits on. Think about this weapon. It doesn't really attack close to the to the ground. Let me quickly make sure I don't fat roll anymore. Heavy load, huh? Feels like I carry in my pants every day. Come on, man. Fine, I'll take off. I'll take off the fat suit. Still over 51 poise. Where's the, the fire better? The fire better. I don't know why that word came out of my mouth, but... Hey, hey hello, Mr. Fireman. Uh, probably this weapon doesn't do much damage to you, huh? Whoa. Here, I have one of these. I don't know what it does. <laughs> probably not uh, terribly intimidated by my fire imbued weapon. Still does decent damage, though. Not even close to the backhanded swords. They're a much better tool for this area. I really like this sword, though. Too bad that fire damage. There's so many enemies that are resistant to it because the DLC seems to be really themed around fire. Did not know that going in. Then again, I, ne I knew absolutely nothing going in. So there was the elevator at the start and clearly it's not the way forward, right? Let's go back and uh, hit that elevator, probably opening some kind of shortcut. What the hell is going on here? Twisty walkways are pissing me off. Anyway, I'm going to go find the elevator. It really wasn't that far. Another extremely deep elevator. Might this lead to that area that I wanted to find, which was the bottom... The bottom... Of the cliff. Nah. I doubt it, but maybe. 
I really thought it would be opening a shortcut, but it really isn't, is it? Oh, Mr. Jar. All right, impressive. My turn. Oh, catch fire, bitch. I'm going to cook you real good. I'm going to make the most delicious lentil stew in your entrails. Full of protein. All right, all good. Pass it. No? Disappointing? Well, uh, now that I have killed you, I'm going to go kill all your children. <laughs> they were not living. What the? Hey, our old friend. The jar meat. At what time does a person put into a jar become a blob? How does that transformation exactly happen? Do they just keep adding stuff in there? Wall of sparks? Oh, man. A pile of jars. That's a ton of jars down there. That's pretty infuriating. I don't really want to deal with that. But we're gonna. They just go in a circle? No, no. It just looks similar. Thing is, it's a, it's a great sword. If you go into the equipment area, it's classed alongside like the heavy, heavy great sword and all the really strong great swords. But the move set is so much faster. It's even faster than. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's even faster than. Uh, what's it called? It's, I'm blanking on it right now. What's it called? The Zweihander. It's even faster than that. Continue attacking these walls. Maybe there's another secret. Absolutely not. Anyway, inventory. Sun warmth stone. Not interested in the slightest. It is a piece of garbage, and I wish I had never seen it. More jars. More jar people. It wasn't enough to make the jail full of these filth. I have to deal with them here as well. This is not right. Pissed off. I just took a shotgun of meat into my face. Giant meat blast to the noggin. I didn't even get monetarily compensated for it. Somebody just abused without consent. I'll do the actual war for you, buddy. That is not the thing that I meant to be locked onto, but that. We have learned that that's actually a grab attack. They set you on fire real good. That Ash of War is like, it's okay. It's just kind of mediocre. It is an attack that does damage. So that's the entirety of it. A, a pretty nice fire attack. It kind of consumes a lot of fuku, though. Seems a, a little out of balance there. Are you the super ma master far boy? <laughs> Destroyed? You are perhaps the bloated master of ceremonies. Coordinated this weird ritual. You guys broke free from your horrible punishment and gained sentience. Iris Grace, another one of those that wish I had given to the fella that was desperate for help and instead I just gave him nothing but despair. I mean, maybe he shouldn't have attacked me. Instead, he should have come to me for help, trying to seek my guidance. But no, he was all about being aggro, just resorting to fisticuffs instead of dialogue, and that's what happens. Bull cut idiot. Nothing but despair. Until you died of sadness. That is your life story. All right. More jars. At least the fire damage is pretty good in here. Why is my sword on fire? I think the Ash of War didn't realize that the Ash of War actually sets it on fire until just now. Even though I used it, what, four times? <laughs> the Ash of War actually gives you some extra fire damage on your... Hey, have a side of grace. Extra fire damage on your weapon. I think this is kind of funky. It just leads somewhere else. Man. Let's see if we can open this. Hopefully not, so I can go back without guilt. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> Yet another path. There's just paths. Paths everywhere. 
That reminds me, I should put, like, uh, you still need to go this way. Oh, I actually put myself, gave myself that reminder. There you go. And, well, here you go. This is the number three. We're going to go back to the storehouse. I probably shouldn't warp. I should be running back because now everything's going to be alive again. But it doesn't matter. Give myself a golden vow. I'm just going to try and ignore absolutely everything. Well, I will give myself a level. How about that? More strength, baby. Even though, really, faith is where it's at right now. It seems like faith is carrying this weapon. I forget exactly. No, no, no. That's not the way. It sucks because they actually engineered those fire shots. To track you instead of letting you just run by. Seems cheap as dirt to me. Don't appreciate it. There's going to be a fire dude and he's going to roast me. Just trying to ignore the existence of all these idiots. Probably will regret it. It is too freaking dark in here. Was this a dead end? It was, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. I really don't want to engage. I want, there we go. This is where I wanted to be. To go. Death upon you. Ow. No, 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 no. We do not allow anybody talking back. Anybody fighting back. There's no fighting. There's only acceptance of your horrible fate at my hands. Let me just impale you real quick. Set you on fire. And then set you on fire even more as I cut you open. That's the butthole treatment. There you go. Oh, you're still alive. Somehow, die. Whatever you dropped, I want it. Unfortunately, the buff from the weapon does not last long at all. From the Ash of War, I meant. Some kind of weird buffalo over there. Whoopla. I want to interact with this buffalo, please. Was I there already? Did I make my way around this buffalo? Yeah, I just didn't never notice that it was there. What even is that? Oh, it's some kind of weird horn scent. Freaking wildebeest. All right. The holy horned wildebeest of Mesmer. These chumps barely making it. All right. Uh, oh, these fellas. Oh, but there you are going then back down the stairs. Not interested. They, they were just going a loop. They were patrolling. Probably shouldn't be going up until I know for sure there's nothing else at the bottom. Let me make certain I did not miss anything. Because I kind of got distracted by the wildebeest. It's another archivist over here. Let me just quickly finish his scholarly ways. Should have trained some more in the arts of war. You filthy nerds all get put to my sword. I was already all the way through there. I haven't been there, no. This is a bunch of nerds looking down the freaking railing. They're just looking, they're just being peaceful. <laughs> Peacefully looking down the rail. But yeah, just, just hanging out. They're all family, they're all just having a good time. I see. I see that you think that you're being a real nuisance, and you are. You are definitely being a nuisance. What you don't realize is that I have the means to end you right this instant. Where's my jar cannon? <laughs> He's just lit you on fire, you piece of trash. There you go. Not so fun now, is it? Not so fun when the fire comes for you, bitch. All right, I think... Oh, man. <coughs> oh, excuse me a moment. My lovely wife is firing up the grill. And uh, I had the window open, and it's like right there. So <laughs> the toxic fumes are going to make my commentary even more and more ridiculous and nonsensical. I'm sure that you're here for it. Look, it's already been 45 minutes. How can this be? I've barely started slaughtering all these damn librarians. Hello? Let me do damage upon you until you're dead. It is kind of like my thing. It's the way that I do things. Ow. 
Pretty cool daggers though. I would like to have your daggers. <laughs> Almost kill me, this absolute piece of garbage. I thought it was an enemy, but it was just a pile of books. Oh, there's enemies behind it. Here, have some of these. I missed. I missed terribly. Well, at least my sword is on fire. Vulgar militia saw. Murder! We're being poisoned! Is there an end to this place? Or is it just corridor after corridor after hallway after shelved area of nothing? Beast torn, just what I wanted! Hello, fella. Your life is set on fire a million times. And then I obliterate your spleen. Charge of heavy attack. You have a nice rest of your life. Fire Knight armor. I was hoping they actually dropped their set. Because it looks badass. I really like the look of it. Oh! Gorgeous. I put some better leggings to compensate. Give myself enough poise to withstand. That looks like ass though. <laughs> I cannot abide at this sin. This sin of fashion. This should be pretty good with it. Uh, it somehow clashes even though it's even the same pattern. But it just clashes. That's pretty good. Mm, let me just have it. Give me some fat gauntlets. That will do it. 48, 47. That's not good enough. Maybe instead of having antlers on, put on an actual helmet? <laughs> that will help out. That will help out quite a great deal. Let's see. That looks stupid as hell, but it's, you know, it is the matching suit. The matching... The matching... Yeah, suit. Suit is the thing that I'm looking for, right? The word that is now currently escaping me. This looks pretty badass. I like that. Not heavy load, but it's also 50. Maybe we can get some better leggings here. That also don't look like ass. This is decent. Burden's Greaves. Oh, that's funky as hell. Oh, it's still medium load. All right. Oh, man, look at this freaking drip. I got swag. I'm going to absolutely slay some pussy tonight. Another weird horned animal. That is being a bridge <laughs> for the library. Uh, they are just slightly eccentric. It's okay. I forgive them. Where are you come from? You scum lord? Let me just uh, obliterate you real quick. Your life is forfeit. All right. Well, I guess. Uh, I guess this is the way. Yeah. Yeah, it is the way. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Uh, sometimes, sometimes Miyazaki just has a stroke of genius, and <laughs> it's like let's just just randomly put a, a person here you can climb on top. Scatter tree fragment, storehouse cross message, message left by Sir Sir Angsbach. Addressed to kindred spirits who also pursue Mikola's trail. It would seem that the people of the keep have blotted the, flooded the holy quarter that leads onward to the scatter tree, bearing, bearing axes. However, there is no route that leads there from this storehouse. Perhaps there is another way to reach the holy quarter from somewhere else in the keep. A thing that I just now, I, think, I bet it was like the ramparts. I abandon here my arm dextral. You absolute weirdo. Chopping off body parts, leaving them strewn all over the place like your freaking William Wallace being drawn and quartered and every piece being shot across the width and breadth of Scotland. Mikola, I don't think you are a freedom fighter. Anyway, the time has come to leave everything else for the next episode. Look at this outfit, brother. Oh! Just ready, ready to get a new date in town.